I'm James Courty. Today I'm doing a project where I take a, a car back to a garage and the working title is Bad Car, Bad Art. It was a Mitsubishi Delica Space Gear. Um, bought it for 4,000 quid. It didn't really work, so I took it back to the garage. This is all happening on the same day, I took it back. And this whole sort of thing started with them trying to fix it and failing to fix it. And anyway, this sort of saga, constantly being sort of dragged down to the level of having to argue with the garage owner about this stupid car, you know. And eventually I said, look, I just want my money back. And he just sort of said, no, you can't have your money back. So um, I thought I would um, try and turn the whole thing around and try and stop being so angry about it. So I decided to crush the car into a cube get it down to the scrapyard, get it in the crusher, we put it through a few times and one of the ideas at the time was to maybe say well look, I turned it into a work of art but it just didn't look like that, it just looked like rubbish. I've been working on it a bit now and it, it looks more like art but it's still bad art and I think the reason it's bad is because the car was bad in the first place so bad car makes bad art but I should say that I'm not angry about it anymore. The crushing of it really sort of sorted me out. I feel good about it now, I feel more positive. Yeah, we're going to take it back to the garage today and say to the guy, if he's there, um, that I've transformed it into a work of art. I want you to buy it off me for the same price that I bought the car off you for. And we're going to leave it on the road outside. And I've got a license from the council to leave it there for a week. Steve, who runs the aquarium gallery, he's already offered to buy it off him <clears throat> for £4,000 and £1. And he, in fact, he's written to him, he's got the letter, he's got the cheque. So he can give me the money. Steve's already paid him, so he makes a pound profit. I get my money back, he gets a pound, and Steve gets something he can sell in his gallery. So everybody sort of goes away happy. You know, it's, it's, it's on public display, it's a, it's a sort of roadside exhibition. Well, I should say also that it didn't work before and it still doesn't work, so it's not actually much different from how it was before. I'm here to just help and drive it along and um, got my camera and all to get bits of it, but just here to get the truck, get it on the truck and get help get it down there. Do fun stuff with Jimmy. Well, it's work, it's another, yeah. another work, day of work really. Mm. It was quite a simple case of disgruntled buyer versus garage. Now it's this whole other sort of quite complicated thing about modern art and second-hand car dealers. As a work of bad art, um, it might go up. Well, time. it's gone up a quid, hasn't it? It's, it's gone up a quid often. already. Everybody could be happy today, you know. Steve. That's a good cue. Hi, Steve. All right. Okay, he's blocked up the entrances. <laughs> I knew this would happen. We, see, we drove past last night thinking, if I was him, I'd just park a load of cars there. Yeah, well I was. I was going to put it right on top of one of his other cars, but decided that might not be wise. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> now he's going to be going, hang on a minute, I've got a major art crisis just about to happen. I'm not leaving the premises. <laughs> mm. Well, hopefully he won't be on the yellow lines and we'll be okay. Well, it's an excellent work. Um, I think it's worth a lot more than 4,000. I think I can see it appreciating in value very soon. Um, fantastic work and another example of Jimmy Courty sticking it to the man, you know, which uh, we all love to see. What I do like about it is that, um, yeah, the council, no one's going to be able to do anything for 10 days because he's got a nice parking permit on it. But yesterday when I spoke to him on the phone, he was trying to be a bit tougher now. And sort of going, well, you know, I'm going to sue you for for damaging my business. Well, how much is five cars? Yeah. How much is that each? That's about 300 <laughs> quid. <laughs> you know, he should just do something different. Yeah, maybe move to another country. And, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to say that um, my art career has been ruined by this as well. Yeah. Because everybody thinks I'm a, I do bad art. Yeah. So 
And what have I sold last week? Nothing. <laughs> well, we're going to work this out, otherwise he's going to be completely baffled. Yeah. Right, now he's A, I'm B, and you're C. So um, you lend him the four grand. I borrow the money off him. Yeah, then you borrow it back off me. Then you can... <laughs> no, hang on a minute, that's yeah, not right. So I, I know, I walk out with the money. You just got to lend him the four grand if he hasn't got it. He just gives it to me, so then I'm happy. I go off outside with the money. So, so then I sort of lend it back to you, then you go and give it to him. Then he gives it back to me. So it goes around <laughs> twice. <laughs> this could just keep on going around infinitely. Um, so then I yeah. lend it back to you, you pay him, and then oh, it's still not right. He's going to end up keeping all the money. <laughs> we'll thing. be going, mm. maybe I should have bought eight grand. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be rusty. Yes. Yeah, so we've got the for it now. But you have to yeah, give me the money first. Steve could lend you the money to give it to me. Yeah, as long as I end you. up with the money. The money goes around twice. I walk out with the money. I mean, yeah. you back to me. Yeah, as long yeah. as I end up with the cash. But got yeah. Oh. Okay. This is just some setup. Yeah, so it's, it's a way of finishing Great. the whole thing. Cheers. Right, so I've got my money. Well, so you need to borrow that off, okay. Pretty cool. Okay, right, thank you. Yeah, so, so I give it back to you, oh, right, and okay. you end up with four thousand pounds, which is right. Yes. Right. Have you got any cards? All right. I'm going to buy a £4,000 push bike, I think. <laughs> I've got one for sale. For you? £3,999. Okay. That was very good-natured, I thought. <laughs> <laughs>